Hi. Uh, several times, especially if you are dealing with the uh, 3D models uh, which come from um, reconstruction from images or maybe also from uh, models which come from uh, 3D manual modeling, uh, you end up in having something which is at uh, arbitrary scale. So uh, the unity of measure of the model is not uh, the same as the real world. Well, uh, maybe you are visualizing an object coming from the real world. Uh, you can uh, understand that by, for example, measuring something on the object. And you see here that this uh, portal that was uh, acquired in the city of Lucca, uh, if you have a look at the, uh, the sides of the door, it gives you a kind of random number, 0 0.27, so it's nothing related to millimeters, centimeters, or meters. So it's essentially an arbitrary scale, and this is typical uh, of the things that you obtain uh, with the reconstruction from images because uh, you are missing the scaling information when you take the images. So there is one, uh, one of the ways to uh, bring your model back to the uh, real measures is to apply a scaling, but uh, there are several ways to do that. Uh, the first, the most simple one uh, is to have a reference on the real world. So the idea is that you take a measure on a portion of the object which is also depicted on a 3D model and uh, you take the measure in the real uh, unity of measure. So for example, if you want to bring this model in millimeters, say for example, one thing that you can do is to uh, like uh, uh, measure the, the size of the door and uh, just, suppose that, just suppose that the size of the door was uh, 85 centimeters, so uh, 850 millimeters. And uh, okay, so if we go and measure the same portion of space directly on the 3D model, we get a different number, 0 0.2826. Okay, so uh, once that you have the real measure and the corresponding measured uh, distance on the model, you can easily calculate the scaling factor that you have to apply on the model in order to bring it to the uh, real unity of measures. So. Just open your calculator and the scaling factor is essentially the, um, the ratio between the real measure and the, the measure that you get on a 3D model. So we have uh, 3008 for example. So this is our scale factor, the ratio between the real measure and the corresponding measure taken on the model. So the rest is quite simple because you just need to call for the filters which is in uh, filters, normal curvatures and orientations, transform scale. Okay. All you need to do is to write the, the ratio that you found with the calculator in this part of the interface. If you keep the, the, uh, the options uniform scaling, you just need to write the number on the first field and then it will be applied. Uh, in a uniform way on the whole model. So you have to try to write 3008, for example. In the current implementation of uh, MeshLab, due to a kind of bug in uh, Qt, it's quite hard to write uh, uh, numbers bigger than 100, if I remember well, uh, in these fields. So there are, you need to try several times. For example, you write some uh, numbers and then you write the scaling factor you're interested in and then you remove the, the, the numbers before so that uh, you, you are now able to, to write this bigger number. We will fix that for the next release, I swear. And uh, uh, okay, so once that you just wrote the scaling factor that you found, you keep the uniform scaling, uh, you can decide if you want to make this uh, um, scaling um, permanent. So if you choose the Fritz matrix, this change will be done forever. Otherwise, if you remove this, uh, you, you will see in this part of the screen uh, the, the, the classic uh, roto translation matrix that defines uh, the roto translation and scaling that you can apply on a model. So we decide that this uh, scaling will be permanent. So when you apply the scaling, usually what happens is that uh, the, the model just disappears from the screen. Well, this is essential because it has, begun, it has become uh, 3000 times bigger than it was before, so it, it just went out of the screen. So you just click Ctrl H to bring it back in the center of the screen.
okay so in order to check if the scaling uh, is okay you just need to to make again the measurement of the size of the the, the measurement that uh, you used for the scaling and you see, we see you see now that it's uh, very near to the measurement that you took on the real model so now your model is in millimeters clearly this time I both took the measurement on the model is not a very accurate way so if you want to be very accurate you have to be accurate both in taking the measurement on the real model and the taking the, the same measurement on the 3d model and this could be a bit tricky because the measurement in the mesh lab is only a Euclidean me uh, measurement so something that uh, uh, which is the shortest distance between the two points that you pick on the model so you need to find something which is easy to measure both in the real model and on the 3d model at the same time uh, when uh, you make uh, the acquisition of the real model um, in addition to the images you should also take one or more measurement of uh, some of the features of the object in order to be able to calculate the scaling factor uh, nothing prevents you from taking several uh, reference measures and then for example make a statistics of the uh, scaling factor that you obtain by calculating the ratios uh, using this different measurement in this way usually you are a bit more accurate and uh, okay so you have also to be a bit careful because you have to be sure that uh, the uh, measurement that you uh, take on the real object will be a part of a, a geometry that uh, will be reconstructed uh, by the image reconstruction software because uh, if you don't if you're not able to reconstruct that part of the, of the surface clearly you won't be able to take the measurement on the model and to get the scaling factor actually this is a quite uh, easy straightforward way to bring your model back to the original uh, values and uh, there are also other ways to do that I will probably try to show them in other tutorials but this is quite uh, straightforward and very helpful uh, you just need to be a bit uh, careful in taking the measurements thank you